This one is called the Old Man of the Mountains. Look at that. Look at the size of that. That looks owl because of all those little shavings on there. I don't know. I think I'm prickly you. I think I'm pretty proud of that guy. <laughs> that may not make the cut. Good evening, everybody. Hello. We just got into Las Vegas. Yes, I know we've been traveling to Vegas a lot. And the reasoning why we've been traveling to Vegas a lot, because it is drivable for us. And our flights during the summer is usually kind of busy to mm -hmm. get anywhere. We were able to go to a lot of places this weekend, our weekend, which is Tuesday, Wednesday. But weather is a factor this week at least right. and it has been actually actually throughout during the summer the weather has been really iffy on a lot of places we want to visit new orleans new york any uh, florida any of those places right not only the weather but because yeah. of summer travel it is more crowded yes and we're going to plan on going to florida this weekend yes we but were. uh since things didn't look too good here we are in las vegas yeah so hope we're going to be traveling again soon um, the flights are getting a little bit more easy. It's just we're watching the weather. I mean, I guess in New York they had flooding up there. So right. yeah, we were just waiting for the weather to pass a bit. Yeah, so we just checked into the Gold Coast. Yes, yes, so, a different casino than we usually do. Right, right. We usually stay at the Orleans. Yes, we but do. But we're giving the Gold Coast a try. We're going to go give you a room tour. We're going to yes. go check in. Yes. It's 10 p.m. right now. It is. Yeah, so then after we give the room tour, we're going to grab something to eat here. Yes. This is the premium king room. Check it out. Huge king size bed. We usually get two queen beds because we like to throw all of our stuff on the other bed, but it wasn't available this time, right? No, at the Gold Coast, they only have doubles. They only, don't have all, the queen okay, size beds. They have beds. two doubles or one king, so we opted for the king. Right. Uh, here's a TV. It looks like a 42 inch or so. We have plenty of drawers on both sides. Over here, we have a big closet. Ironing board, iron, the in-room safe, lots of hangers, a lot of space in here. And the furniture feels new. Even the, the dresser, everything feels good. Uh, nice lighting over here, painting on the wall, more paintings here. We have a desk, two chairs, coffee maker. Unfortunately, the view, I know it's dark, but it's, it's just the wall on here, so... There is no view. You're on the third floor. Yeah, third floor. Mm -hmm. Check out the uh, the bathroom. Give them a tour. Okay, here is the shower. Looks like the fixtures here are, are pretty up to date here, right here. And, of course, they have your amenities right here. Here's your hair blow dryer. And the door is like the sliding type. Yeah. The air conditioner feels nice and cold, and the controller is on the wall. Yeah, definitely cold. Mm -hmm. Not too loud either. Yes. So this is it. Uh, the king size premium here at the Gold Coast. And how much was it per night? Per night was because I'm a Be Connected reward member. It was $39 a night plus mm -hmm. $36.99, I believe. 30 around there uh, for the resort fee. And that resort fee includes the parking and everything like that. Yeah. So that's really good. If you've never been here before, the parking structure is just right next to the hotel entrance casino. So it's very convenient. It's almost like the Orleans. Yes. So this is it. Now we're going to do a little unpacking and head downstairs to get some food. This is a boy casino, which is one of the almost like locals, like the Orleans, the Cal, all the same player card. And it's kind of busy for a Monday night. Yeah, there is. So we're, we're going to walk to our dinner location. Hopefully it's not too crowded. Yeah. They do have a lot of table games here, see? They do. And a lot of machines, of course. Nice ceiling. We're going to eat here at Ping Pang Pong. We haven't been here in a long time. And what we like about this one, it's open till 3 a.m., which is really cool. We just got seated. Look at this menu. This is a very extensive menu over here. That's just page one. Another page. They do have some special, some dim sum. So we're gonna look this over. Here's a dim sum menu right here, and see what looks good to us. And uh, order some food up. We have to get the hot tea. We have to. 
Yeah. Here we go. That's really hot. It's nice because they give you the whole uh, little kettle, uh -huh. the whole pedal. And they keep on filling it. The whole here, pot. <laughs> here they do charge for the tea, but it's totally worth it. Just a little fun fact when you get the Chinese tea, it has no, no handle for your finger. So the rule of thumb is if it's too hot to pick up, it's probably too hot to drink. So you want to let it cool down a little bit. How's that look, babe? That looks delicious. The soup of the day. What this soup reminds me of, it's, we used to call it a bean soup at home. It has bean curd right here, which we call fujok. It has pieces of ginger, it has carrots, it has right here a piece of pork. That's a pork, and they just completely boil that pork out, and it flavors the soup just deliciously. This tastes exactly like what my dad used to make um, back in the day. This is absolutely delicious. We've had it before when we're here, so we're going to go ahead and try out this soup. Yeah, it Leslie loves amazing. this soup as well. We, yeah, she absolutely loves it. Last time we were here, they didn't have it with the with the bean curd or the fujo. They didn't have it in there, so I like that little taste in there. Now, uh, if, if anyone knows like the Chinese name of the soup, put in the comments yes. below because... Uh, she just told me. Yeah, she said it so fast. And <laughs> wasn't sure what it is. I know we call it like the uh, bean soup. It has all this delicious goodies in it. And so, yeah, if you know the name of this, go ahead and put it in the comments. This little bowl of heaven right here. This soup, clear broth. See if it needs any more seasoning. It is seasoned perfectly, not salty at all. You can taste the really cleanness of that broth. It tastes absolutely healthy for you. A little piece of meat. Yeah, to me it tastes like a pork bone broth. Mm -hmm. um, a little, maybe a hint of sweetness, maybe. Mm -hmm. The they ginger have, comes out. Like they actually have the ginger, and they have a plum in here. Let's see if I can find, here it is. That's actually a sweet plum. And all of this is really, really to flavor the soup. So really clean tasting. And of course, everything that's in the soup that is to flavor the soup, it is edible. So this tastes like home to me. We got an array of all goodness here. We got the braised pork belly. Pork belly. Mm -hmm the spare rib with black bean sauce, the chicken soft noodle, so it's like a chicken chow mein, and we have sumai. So oh, yeah. two dim sum, the chicken chow mein, and the braised pork belly. And wow. our soup, so yes. this is a great meal. It is. We might have uh, ordered probably just right or a tad over. too much. Yeah. This is probably good for three people, but oh, yeah. we're gonna do our best. Yes. This is Lisa's favorite dim sum. Yes. The uh, little pork. Pork spare rib yeah, and on the, black bean sauce. Yes, it's our favorite. Right here. The pork spare rib, this is usually nice and juicy. Not too hot. Mm -hmm. They have they have bones connected, so be careful what you can chew. These are tender. There's a lot of fat on here. So the fat really holds in the juices. The black bean sauce just tastes like a really good seasoning on it. Not salty at all. All of these juices, it really tastes like a like a, a five spice type spare rib. Absolutely delicious. Now some dim sum restaurants, they do put little sliced jalapenos on top, they but do. this one doesn't. This one doesn't. And then I'm going to go ahead and try a sumai. Here's the sumai. These look Glorious. Yeah, they should be like uh, pork and shrimp, yeah. right? And Traditionally. They're humongous. Let's go ahead and bite into this. Oh yeah, it looks really good. You can see the pork and shrimp in there. It's delicious, full of flavor. Oh yeah, this is just a perfect start to our meal. This is the first time we ordered the braised pork belly. It looks really good. I'm not sure if some of these it might be mushrooms or maybe a little bit of vegetable, but here is the pork belly itself. 
Oh, look at that. It, it's falling apart as I'm trying to pick it up. Put some on my plate and try this out. It does look like a very rich gravy in here. Of course, with some, what is it, bok choy? Bok choy. Some uh, cabbage. So let's try this out. Wow. It's braised so good that it's just falling apart. Well, this has like that sweet soy sauce, like marinade on this. It is so tender. It just chews off very easy. I love the pieces here. As you know, pork belly, a good mixture of the fat and the meat. It matches perfectly with some rice that we got. Oh, um, since we're looking at the tea, it is drinkable now, and it is a jasmine tea that they serve. Mm. With the regular steamed rice and the pork belly. Mm. I'll definitely order this again. This is great. Here is the chicken stir-fry noodles, like the chow mein noodles. Wow, this is like the thicker kind of noodles. Looks delicious. It has nice pieces of chicken. Looks like some cabbage, green onion, or scallion. Let me try this out. Great chew on those noodles. It is packed full of that soy sauce type of flavor on it. I didn't get to try the chicken, so let me try a little piece of chicken here. Nice and tender. This is a great chow mein over here. It's gonna match what we got, especially the uh, the pork belly and with the soup. Yeah, just like you mentioned, this is a great start. Great first dinner here in Vegas. That hit the spot. I am full. Yeah, we yeah. slightly ordered, but you know what? We, we like the variety, uh -huh. that's the reason why. And we almost finished everything, almost. Maybe one more person would have done it. Yeah, one, yeah. More, one more person would have dusted everything off. Right, my favorite was the, uh, the stir-fried noodles and that pork belly, that was oh, my favorite. You know, I love the soup, I'm a soup person. Mm. The soup was delicious, but all the food was very good. It was. It's lucky 11 o'clock, it's too early to go to sleep because we just ate, so yeah, we're gonna, gonna play a little? we're gonna walk around, I'm gonna play a little. Okay. I got four aces, no kicker though, so I got 800 plus a spin. And you're playing uh, nickels? Or? Nickels. All right. Here we go. Big money. Big money. Big, big money. money. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Four hundred. Not bad. Not bad. So right? a total of twelve hundred nickels. Nice. Twelve twenty. That's a good start, babe. Good start. I don't believe it. Just one minute later, you another got another one. one. Yep. Here we go. Big money, Another big one. money, big money, big money, big money, big money, oh, six, yay. yay! What's six, 600, 600, 600 nickels. that's 20, that's 20, 30 dollars, 30 dollars, so I got over a hundred bucks I think now. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that's doing real good, that's, that's better than the last time you played yes. poker. Out of 20 bucks. That's a lot better than the other tickets you've been holding yes, up lately. It, has, it is. Good morning. Good morning. We got off to a, what, 8 30, a little bit late start. Yeah, we did yeah. a little bit. We're going to go grab some uh, breakfast, but it's going to be on a separate vlog. It will be. It's going to be one of our best of because we got a lot of good response from our first one. Yeah, we did. And so we're going to hit up three different places today. Yes. It's going to be breakfast. The lunch and the questionable dinner it could be a lunch lunch maybe. Sure. We'll yeah. see what happens. Right. Yeah. So uh, for sure, stay tuned for that I'm one. I'm gonna give you a little snippets of on this video. We will. Yeah. Oh, we okay. Will. Wow. Okay. And after that, we're gonna go take a chocolate tour. Yes. This is probably as close of a New York build that they have over here. Let's check this out. Oh, look at that. Everybody always does this with sandwiches. Mm -hmm. and everything. We have made it to yes. the Ethel M Chocolate Store, flagship store. Flagship store flagship. and Cactus Garden. It is free. 
to get here. Parking is free and it's a lot of parking. The Cactus Garden is humongous. And it, again, it is free to walk through. Of course, visit the flagship store. We're gonna go tour. We haven't been here in years. And yes, it is open. It opens at 10 a.m. every yes. day. Uh, pro tip, when it's 100 degrees like it is right now, uh, don't leave your chocolate in your car. Yeah, so we probably will take a sample, but I don't know if we'll buy any because it is warm. It is warm, yeah. Yes. But we are gonna check out the Cactus Garden too. Yeah. So this is cool. This is like a self-guided tour. Yes. And you can see all the different varieties of cacti. Is, is that correct? The yes, cacti? cacti. And I believe you can eat these right here. Aren't these like little prickly pears? I believe you can eat them. I hear that maybe they're sweet. And this is, a, is it, this not a good source of water? I think there's a lot of water in here. Go ahead, go ahead and take a bite, babe. No, but I believe there's a lot of water in here. But these are pretty. They are. And I bet you these are... Uh, yeah, they hurt. Yeah, definitely prickly. Yes. Quick story, uh, when I saw this type of variety of cactus right there, it reminded me of my, my grandmother. She used to grow some of these cactus. She used to like break them and, and grate it and get some of that cactus juice. And, yeah, and it wasn't gooey. Yeah, that slimy pulp, right? And I think she used to drink it. And then she had arthritis and she used to rub that cactus all over her elbows and wrists and stuff. I don't know if it worked or not, but I don't know. But that's what it reminds me of. Is that kind of cactus? Write in the comments if you know that worked or if your parents, grandparents do yeah. it before yeah. or even still now. I believe it's just aloe, isn't it? Yeah, just I regular believe so. aloe. Yeah. You know what this variety of cactus reminds me of? What, babe? Remember uh, the three amigos and they came across <laughs> the, the singing cactus? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, one. that's what it reminds me of. Here we go. Let's now go. let's go inside. Yeah. This is cool. This is cool. This is the self-guided tour of the chocolate factory. Right. You know what kind of reminds me of? Remember on the Big Island, you have Big Island candies? Yes. And they had uh, a display window right open to the factory. We'll try to get some uh, closer shots of uh, these guys making some yeah, chocolate. Yeah, I think there's some at the end that are, are either boxing or doing something with the chocolate. They're packing the little chocolate hearts right now which is really cool. And then over there, they're actually packing boxes, just like what they did in I Love Lucy. Yeah, except these are going a lot slower. Yeah, right? I bet they don't speed up here. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> it is. In fact, there's a second chocolate wall to take a selfie with. It's at the California Hotel upstairs. There's another FLM chocolate place there. It's got the same wall. Check this out. That's kind of cool. They have chocolate and mimosa tastings. $35 a person. Of course, you have to be 21 and over, but it's every day. So if you're here between those times, maybe you can sign up and do it. Yeah, and these are cool because you could pick your own and make your own box, right? Mm -hmm. And then they have specialty Vegas ones too, specialty Vegas boxes. These special metal tins. I've yeah. seen these at the airport and yep. at the other FMs, but I, first time I've seen these little chocolate ones here. Those are pretty cool. And then these tins are called the Taste of Vegas Collection. They're already made for you, or you can custom make your own boxes. Yeah, That's so, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, these are, these are make some good souvenirs to take. Oh yeah. Just uh, keep them out of the heat, right? When it's not 106 outside. Yeah. Look at that shake. Let's try that one out. Okay. Can I have a milkshake, please? The pecan brittle one? It's right up your alley, right? You like these I'm bags. I'm such a bag person. They have a little pocket in the front. They're only $5. Wow. And it's insulated. Look in here. Oh, yeah, look at that. But I don't need any more bags. And we're not getting any chocolate, so I'm going to pass on this one. But it's only 5 bucks for a small insulated tote bag. It's perfect. If, you, if your room has a refrige, we can get oh, yeah. your chocolate and throw this in there. Mm -hmm. And you're ready for the uh, trip home with it. So they're, they're making our shake right yes. now. Yes. Go ahead and try out this stick. It's a peanut brittle. Remember, baby? Uh, pecan brittle. Pecan brittle. Yes. Okay, I said put the whipped cream on top. Just get mm, that in because everything tastes better with whipped cream, right? Here we go. Oh, Cheers. Sure. Mm. There are bits of brittle in here. Very pecan y. It's very good. 
not extremely sweet at all. Yeah, it's almost like you're really drinking, good. and it's almost like legit. Cookies and cream. Yeah, it's what? almost like a legit milk and brittle, because it's not sweet like a vanilla. Yeah. So it's like a milk and brittle. The what stands out is that little bits of brittle in here in this shake. So when it says pecan brittle, it is a pecan brittle. These look amazing. Look at this. It's a dark chocolate strawberry. They had milk chocolate as well, but we're dark chocolate people. Look at the beautiful lattice that's on top of that. Yeah, it's really dark. Uh, it's kind of hard to pick up on the video, but it is nicely designed. There you go, right there. Yeah. It is beautiful looking. I'm not big on chocolate and fruit, but I do like chocolate strawberries. So we're going to head. You should bite into this, baby. You should test this one out. Okay. You just took a very good picture of it. Be sure to check out Lisa's Instagram for you to get a nice shot of that. Luhu. Luhu yes. 220. Yeah, all the information is in the video description. This has got some weight to it. This is like a uh, extra heavy duty strawberry. And you are given a choice between dark chocolate and milk, mm -hmm. right? And you got the, uh, the dark. Here we go. You can hear that crunch of that chocolate. Look how thick it is. Wow. That's a thick coating of chocolate right mm. there. This is delicious. Uh, you know, everybody has had chocolate covered strawberries before. But have you had a Ethel M chocolate covered strawberry? Now you're talking about high class chocolate with a nice juicy strawberry. This is the best one I've had. What? The best one. Really? Yeah. Delicious. Not bad. If you walk in the first door, they give you a little sample white or dark chocolate. So we're going to go ahead and eat this. We came in the back door. Oh, yeah. so but we ahead. still got a free chocolate. Yep, we did. There we go. <laughs> Looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, solid, huh? Chocolate absolutely for her. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. A little bit on the, the um, tart. Can you really say tart time? Mm -hmm. It's the uh, more of the uh, the cacao. Mm -hmm. Is that cacao? So it's not on the sweet side, but or cocoa. if you're a dark chocolate fan, this is very good. Yep. It's high like quality. a uh, it's like a semi sweet. Yeah, high yeah. quality chocolate. It is, and uh, yeah, this is officially that's where you start your self credit yes. tour from. But we just went straight to the box. We did. <laughs> Astro Cat, yes. it, it did you good, 78 bucks. It did. It must have been the volume being all the way up. Yes, next. yes. That's what so did that's it. That's the ticket, right? Yeah. We're walking through the Miracle Mile, and mm -hmm. what do we see? Well, girls and Sandwich are just a really good cheap eat it on the strip. Look what they have now. Hand, dinners. Yep, hand carved dinners, roast beef dinner and turkey dinner from 4 to 11 p.m. 19.99 for so, each one. 20 bucks. Yeah, first time uh, besides sandwiches, yeah. right, they have here. Good deal. Eventually, we'll probably try it out. We're back at the Gold Coast, and this is their pool. Cute. Cute little pool. Yeah, it's um, really kind of small yeah. compared to, like, the Orleans. Orleans. Yeah, so this one little jacuzzi hot tub there, and this is just the main pool right here. But the good part is, right behind you is entrance back to the casino. Back to the casino. Yep. We've seen this place behind us all the time. Every yes. time we come to the Gold Coast, uh -huh. the Noodle Exchange. I think we're going to try it out tonight. We are. We, we always opt for Pin Pang Pong, but we're going to try out the Noodle Exchange. I'm kind of excited. Yeah, yeah, hot pot here. Yeah, you know, when we went into our elevator, they had an advertisement for it. Yeah. Yeah, and they had hot pot. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, let's go try it out. We just got seated here. We're looking around at all the tables and every table has a hot pot. So that must be the hot ticket here. And here's the way it is. They have like a, what is it, a regular and a plus, which I'm guessing is like the large uh, ribeye, uh, boneless lamb slices, seafood, vegetable, and tofu. So we're going to ask um, our server what the difference is between the regular and the large. And uh, we're probably going to get 
the hot pot. And here's the different types of uh, the sauces. sauces. Yeah. So we might get the uh, the special herb, maybe the tomato broth, because those are the only two that are not spicy. We got the what was it, baby? It was uh, the ribeye. Yeah, the ribeye rib plus. So ribeye plus, it comes with everything you see here. Your sauce, your meat, it comes with glass noodles, and then we got udon noodles as well. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Yeah, these are udon noodles we got on the side. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead, look at that in there. Here's the ribeye, but you can see oh, what's in the there. Oh, the tofu The tofu, the napa in there. Yeah. And there's, uh, you can see something down here. And you saw fish balls, baby, like a tar taro or something. So, yeah. And then you saw and fish balls. we got balls. two different types of dipping broths. Uh-huh, we got the tomato, the two non-spicy ones. So one's an herb and one's a tomato base. They had a Thai that was spicy and an herb that was spicy. So we kind of skipped those. So I'm hoping this will be nice, easy going. And this looks delicious. Let's get cooking. We're adding everything in. We got some yeah. of the napas, the tofu. Mm -hmm. I know meat. there's some noodles in here. Haven't gotten into it yet though. Snap some meat in. And these cook fast, so you just really got to watch it. Pretty done. Oh, they did give hot. us some dipping sauces for the meat. I believe this is like a, uh, like, like a peanut sauce. The different herbs. Oh, they gave this bit. Look, they gave this oh, thing yeah. here to grab it. Yep, like a little strainer. And I think it's also really for your noodles too. I tried this um, dipping sauce, and it has a little herbaceous flavor to it. It's really nice. Okay, we're gonna chop this meat without any sauce first. That's some good quality meat. It has a lot of flavoring even before any sauces. Oh, that's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my sauce, and the sauce has a mixture of a little bit of everything in there. Yeah, but it does have peanuts, he said. It peanuts. does. Yeah. So I'm gonna take my other piece of meat, dip it in the sauce. Here. Mm. The sauce. You can taste different spices in there. You can taste a little bit of fish sauce in there. There's a little bit of barbecue sauce. That's actually really delicious with this meat. You gotta try it out, babe. I will. I tried the tomato broth one, and that's really nice. It has a very nice tomato flavor to it. Not acidic or anything like that. I have yet to try the spice one, but the tomato one is also a winner. It's got no, no spiciness at all. And we've been talking up this little sauce right here, so I want to try that one out. I gave it a little bit of a mix, a little dip. Ooh, here we go. Boy, that, <laughs> that sauce has so many different flavors going on. It's really good. But if you, give, if you just want to eat it with the, with the tomato soup itself, yeah, that's very good. This is almost like creating your own meal. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, so really. not only are you getting a good meal, you're having fun while doing it. Right, yeah. So, you know, having a hot pot is very interactive. It is, you it know? is. Like, so, like you're in control here. This is really hot. Yeah, be careful. Yeah. Right? Let's try out this little bit of glass noodles here. Cool. It picks up a little bit of that broth flavor. This is absolutely delicious. And they cook really fast. So this is what they look like here. Not quite glass yet, but then after it's been sitting in that broth for a good two minutes, three minutes, and this is how they come out. Wow. This is the salt and pepper chicken wings. This was recommended by oh, our it's server. Steamy right there. Oh, it's careful. Steamy. Salt and pepper chicken wings, this is recommended by our server. He says this is a popular dish that everybody orders. These look absolutely delicious. And these are, it says on the spicy side, but he says they're not too spicy. I like those little pieces of onion on there. But, and these things are hot. So let's go ahead and try these out. I can barely hold it. You want that Here we go. Nope, I got it. Oh, it looks really juicy. Mm. Wow. First of all, I love these because they're all flat. Has a great taste to it salt and pepper and it's not too salty. I've had salt and pepper chicken wings before and it's just too salty. This is delicious. I don't taste any heat at all. 
Is it on the sweet mm. side? Or the, the salt and pepper only? Salt and pepper only, and you can taste the onion in there. And um, they're extremely juicy. These are delicious. So we're gonna go ahead, kind of try to finish eating here, and uh, we'll give you our review at the end. That noodle exchange, I don't know why we waited so long to go try that it place. It was so good. It, it was. was very good. I, I really like the hot pot because it felt very light. We're full, but it didn't feel like heavy like a steak that right. would sit in your belly, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. so we highly recommend this place we for do. the hot pot. Mm -hmm. The table next to us, they got like the pho. Vietnamese pho. Yeah. And that looked good too. Right, right. Oh, uh, we had the herb one and the tomato one. We took, after it really started boiling, we took the herb bag out because we know it was going to get a lot more strong. Oh, yeah. And as it heats up and as the as you drink the broth and that steam is going, the taste in the broth intensify. Yeah, it gets so more it gets, complex. Yes, yeah, so just sure. a heads up. Um, we took the herb bag out. I know if we left it in, it would have gotten really strong. Oh yeah, it, it would have. Mm, yeah. And you know, if you come with a family with a bunch of kids, uh, have the kids stay, sit away from the from the flame because it does get it's dangerous. Hot. Very hot. Very hot, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this was a good uh, trip here to yes. Vegas last minute. Yes. Uh, Hope you like the tour of of the uh, of, uh, of this the hotel Gold Coast. of the Gold Coast yeah. Hotel, right? You wanted to say the Orleans. I almost I did. Uh, yeah, yeah, because we, we go there so often. Yeah, That's we the reason do. Why. Uh, you have any shout outs here? I do. Nelson, happy birthday. Alex, happy birthday. Mary Jo, happy birthday. Rudy, happy birthday. Lori, happy birthday. Keith, happy birthday. Gunner, happy birthday. Brenda, happy birthday. Stan, happy birthday. Linda and Scott, we just saw you at Bagel Mania. Oh, that was on did. our other video. Yes. Uh, we saw you at Bagel Mania. Thank you so much for saying hi. We yes. saw them in, uh, in Hawaii. Remember that, baby? We when did. we were walking to uh, uh, Leonard's. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. For the balasadas. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for saying hi to us. The couple from um, Palm, I think it was Palm Coast, Florida. Yes. We just saw them here at Gold Coast. Thank you guys so much for saying hi. Yes. And the family at Fallon Hollywood, the all 13 of you guys, thank you so much for that watching. Was, that was a huge family. Yes, yes. yes. Took and pictures and everything. We did. And, the, and the, the lovely young ladies that we saw in Cosmo took a picture with them. Their dad watches us. Thank you again for saying hi, everyone. That's right. Yeah. Yes. And again, I know we say it all quite often, you know, no matter what we're doing, just come up and say hi. Yeah. 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 We we're love fine. you guys. Even if we're filming, just come up and say hi. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, well, that wraps it up on our quick weekend over here yes. in Las Vegas. Until our next adventure. Catch we'll catch you, you guys on the next, next one. one. Who knew on these old machines? Yeah. You want big? I want big. I was spending $2 a hand. And look how much I won. Cash out. Cash out. It's just getting rich. Let's see the money. Ooh. Almost 200 bucks, babe. Almost 200 bucks. Yes, what a way to end the night. Yay, end the night. We still have two more hours.